Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to save SHSH Bluffs for iOS 17. SHSH Bluffs are digital signatures that are used to verify the firmware on your iOS device. By saving your SHSH Bluffs, you can downgrade to previous version of iOS even if Apple is no longer signing that version. In this method, I will tell you the best way and easy way to save your SHSH Bluffs. This video covers all of the Apple products like iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, and iPod. What you will need is a computer, a USB cable to connect your iOS device to your computer, and internet connection. Before starting the video, don't forget that my friend discovered a world of captivating content on my YouTube channel that will both entertain and educate you. Join our growing community of subscribers, hit that subscribe button and be sure to like and comment to become a part of the conversation. With that introduction out of the way, it's time to get started on how to save SHSH Bluffs for iOS 17. First of all, install and use your iTunes and after that, connect your device to your PC with USB cable. First of all, take a backup of your device for emergency. There is no risk for your device guys, but it's better to back up your data for necessary use. After the backup is finished, close your iTunes. After that, open your browser and go to this link. Of course, I will mention it in description. Actually, this is the GitHub link to download Blob Saver program. After going to GitHub link, you will see the Download option, actually in case of your platform. You can see here Mac OS, Windows, Linux and another platform. So I click on the Windows link, Blob Saver 3.5.2 version and start download. After the download is finished, go to your download folder and try to install the program. There is no important point to install the program, just install it. After the install is finished, do not launch the program, just close it and prepare a form like this, I will tell you. Just open up the notepad and type these three words ecid app nouns and generator later we will fill values in their place now pay attention your device is connected to your pc with usb cable and your hotspot is turned off if it's turned on like me please turn it off Now it's time to open up your program which is Blob Saver. Double click on it and you will see the program. You can select your device manually with identifier or go to read from device. Click on read from device and the program will recognize your device and you will see on identifier tab it recognizes my device iPhone 12 Pro Max. Here you can see the app nouns box and generator box. Actually, we need to fill our values on their box and check these two options also save to TSS saver and also save to SSSH house. And now click on read from device to get values. 
now click on ok and your device will go to recovery mode don't be afraid guys just wait for the process click on ok and your device will enter recovery mode please wait a couple of the minutes and after that you will see the result Here you can see the recovery mode and again please wait. And finally we got app nouns. Click on finish and after that unlock your phone with your passcode. And here you can see the success message and read app nouns from connected device. And here you can see the specify app nouns value and generator value. So copy the values and paste them in place. And pay attention guys, uh, please save this notepad for next actually educational video I will tell you later. So save it and keep it. Click on save device and you can save your device information. Please enter your device name for example. I type iPhone 12 Pro Max and you can save it and keep it. In the programs and here now go to location option and you can see three dot here click on it and specify the location of your SSH bluffs for example I choose my desktop and create a new folder with name bluffs and here I will select it and don't forget that to select these two options and finally click go button and wait for a couple of the seconds actually it takes about 20 seconds I add speed to my video so be patient and finally you must see this message success and here you can for version you can see SHSH gloves for iOS 17 and iOS 16.6.1 So we got two SHSH file After that click on OK Now go to your SHSH gloves location and here you can see two SHSH files here So after the underscore character you can find your iOS version of your SHSH gloves here you can see 16.6.1 and another one is 17 and here you can see the format of your SHSH files which is SHSH2 there is nothing left to say my friends we have said all of the point and contents in full if you have any problem or any question, you can ask me in comment as soon as possible, I will answer to you. I will upload every week a new educational video and great video. So, do not forget that to subscribe my channel and hit the bell and like this video and share it with your friends. Thank you my friend for watching this video. Be careful of yourself. See you soon. Goodbye.